the couple at the very bottom and leaving right now is Brian and Sharna. Question. Kenya, you're staying in the show. It's the end of the road for Brian Austin Green and Matt James on Dancing with the Stars. I was shocked. The fact that Matt was in the bottom to begin with. Yeah, shocked. And Brian, I mean, and everyone. You don't know who's going to be in the bottom. It was brutal. I think I would have been upset any which way it went, but like, it was brutal. It was our two best friends. Yeah, I was very sad to see Sharna and Brian go, wasn't expecting that. And then Lindsay and Matt was not expecting that at all pissed. I was so, so shocked. Like, I, I'm still in shock. On Tuesday, after all 13 remaining couples delivered their performances on Disney Villains Night, host Tyra Banks revealed which three couples were in the bottom two. It came down to Brian and Sharna Burgess, Kenya Moore and Brandon Armstrong, and Matt and Lindsay Arnold. Having earned the lowest combined score from the judges and the lowest total number of viewer votes, Brian and Sharna got the axe without getting a chance to be saved by the judges. The couple at the very bottom and leaving right now is Brian and Sharna. And ultimately, the judges voted between the two remaining couples, with head judge Len Goodman making the final call. Oh, and I have to go for Matt and Lindsay. I'm gonna save Kenya and Brandon. The couple I'm going to save is Matt and Lindsay. So I'm gonna pick Russian. Kenya. You're staying in the show. What's beautiful Love about you. that moment is when she dropped to her knees, that was a real vulnerable moment. And like, when you see people come on our show, none of them have any idea how difficult it is to be on Dance with the Stars. They see the glitter, they see the glam, they think it's super fun and easy. It's hard work. Brian and Sharna seemed to take the elimination in stride and didn't seem to be too surprised. After receiving mediocre scores for their waltz on Disney Heroes Night and their Paso Doble on Disney Villains Night. For Villains Night, which was better received by the judges, the pair hit the dance floor to deliver a Pirates of the Caribbean inspired number. E.T. spoke to Judge Carrie Ananaba after Tuesday's show, and she admitted she was surprised by the real-life couple's exit. I think it's not easy to work with someone that you're in a relationship with, so I give them so much credit for being so professional and so elegant out there every time. And it's, you know, I, you know, Charter's like family, right, to all of us, so the beautiful thing is, although we're judging the dance, we're all happy for her and yeah. her personal life. Brian and Sharna's relationship has been a hot topic all season, with fans weighing in all over social media. Some saying the pair was at an advantage. But when ET spoke with them last week, they explained why that simply isn't the case. A lot of people like to assume that we have an advantage, right? Oh, it's an advantage because they know each other, they, you know, they're in a relationship, they can practice whenever they have chemistry. It is so the opposite. People really do think that this is all just fun and games for us and we're just banking on being cute and we want to, you know, do kiss it's all the time. It's just this mushy, we're... like, love story. And it's, it's like, not, man, man. The, the fact that, like, through all of this, like, we are still, we still want to be affectionate, want, want to be around each other is, it, it's a major accomplishment yeah. for us.